the cross. When you see it, you know who and what it stands for. And at GCU, it stands for the foundation of who we are as a people. So let's talk about it. Play the graphic. Hello everybody and welcome to the GCU Lope Show. I'm your host, Kale Dwar, and I'm really excited for this one. The cross behind us, setting the stage for what we're talking about. We're talking about Jesus and just our spiritual life atmosphere. I have a good buddy of mine. Introduce yourself. Yeah, uh, my name's Connor Meek. I'm a senior here at GCU, majoring in Christian studies, and I'm a part of our worship team. So one thing that makes our school our school is our spiritual life. Yeah. I mean, our Christian identity is our foundation of everything. The unique thing about GCU is we're a missional school, not a covenant school, meaning we don't have to be a believer to be on this campus. Totally. How has that impacted your time as a student and as a leader in our spiritual community? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of the most unique things. Um, I haven't really experienced anything like it in yeah. any other setting. Um, at GCU, you know, you have people coming from all different backgrounds. You have Catholics and Lutherans and Baptists and Pentecostals all in the yeah. same room. And, and even non-believers too. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And so it's this beautiful picture of like people coming together under the gospel. And it kind of reminds you of the bigger picture Picture and the bigger nature of who God is and what it's about. And so that's one of the most unique things that we get to do and not only partake in as students, but also as mm -hmm. leaders. So. so we absolutely love you up there leading worship every Monday morning. It's like a concert in there, but there are so many other ways for our student body to grow closer to Jesus on our campus. Yeah. Can you take us through some of the things our spiritual life offers? Yeah, definitely. Um, we have all kinds of things from like our global local outreach teams uh, to our life groups and different other things mm -hmm. on campus um, that we create. And so it's really unique opportunity to connect in more than just a Monday morning service yeah. or a Tuesday evening, you know, worship, worship night, night. Yeah, but like on the we have these opportunities all throughout the week for people to connect in very real and personal ways. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Connor, I want to take you back to your senior year of high school going into your freshman experience at GCU. For you, Connor, how did GCU's spiritual atmosphere allow you to grow your own faith, Connor's faith? Yeah, that's amazing. Um, yeah, GCU was so influential in that process for me. Um, obviously, moving out, like you said, it just sure. brings out all these different things. And so I think coming into GCU and getting to really just have conversations and mm -hmm. dialogue with my professors, with uh, spiritual life leaders, with my roommates and other people that were in my majors, it really just kind of opened my heart to say, like, what do yeah. I believe? What am I about? And what kind of a leader, what kind of a person do I want to be when this is all over? Yeah. And so through the last three years at GCU, I've had the opportunity to form that and to figure that out that. for myself. Awesome. So. Con, I want to close out with two questions here. Great. They actually go hand in hand. The first one is to our non-believers or the, the people who might not necessarily identify as a Christian. Yeah. And they want to come here, but they're, they're worried about being accepted. Yeah. What would you say to them? And the second question that goes into that is, for those students that are ready to take advantage of the spiritual atmosphere, what advice would you give them? Yeah, definitely. Uh, first and foremost, I'd say if you're not a Christian, you belong way before you believe here at GCU. Yeah. And so I think that that's something that's so important about our campus. Um, you don't have to be a Christian to be a part of these things. Um, like you said, we're a missional oriented school. And so mm -hmm. we create opportunity, but opportunity is never forced upon you. And so you have the, you know, the space and the time to figure that out for yourself. And so come give it a try. Um, there's so many opportunities to grow and to develop what that means for you and what faith looks like in your world. Um, but for those that are ready, um, the biggest thing you can do is just say yes. Just be available. Just start going. Gra rally your friends. Rally the people that you know and just be a part of it. Be a part of life groups. Sign up for chapel. Come to the worship nights and really just see where your place is and find the opportunity to grow as a student but also as a Christian and as a part of your faith wow. as well. So Awesome. Well, Connor, thank you so much for what you do in our worship band as a leader on this campus and just the R is a young man. Yes, so, thank you. Connor, thanks, thanks so much bro. for what you're doing for Jesus on this campus. And can we finish with a lopes up? Lopes up. Lopes up, guys. See you guys next week.